We're back now with our all-star panel of experts, historian Richard Norton Smith. Do debates matter, and, and what are you looking for in these last two final debates? Well, I think we've established they matter. Um, I have enough trouble understanding the past to try to predict uh, <laughs> the future. Um, I will suggest one reform, though. The legacy, one legacy of the 1980, uh, waged in the campaign one week before the campaign, because the Carter and the Reagan camps were debating over the debate. It went, obviously, very well for Governor Reagan, swept him into office. The decision was made thereafter, whatever we do in the future, we're never going to repeat that mistake. Why do you think we have all four debates shoehorned into a narrow window in October? Why not stretch them out from Labor Day until a week before the election? And then maybe, as Senator Dodd points out, we'd have a little bit more time to reflect on what we've heard. Martha. Or, or too much time to reflect on what we've learned, stretching them all out. Yeah, they matter. But, you know, looking, looking back at those other debates as we, as we have this morning, I think people have to remember that what you hear isn't necessarily going to happen and that there are promises kept or we're going to do this and we're going to do that. It doesn't really come out to be true. I think Tuesday's debate is a very different style of debate. It is that town hall. It, I, I think both men will do very well probably with the audience. I think it's probably a bit easier for them because you have a live audience just like this one and you can relate to them in a different way than you do just with a moderator or each other. Mr. Will. Certainly they matter, although Newt cites the 1984 when the president said, I'm not going to take advantage of my opponent's youth. He carried 49 states. So that really wasn't the key to this enormous landslide. Although Walter Mondale says that was the moment he realized that he was going to lose. No, he realized, but the country yeah, realized. The country. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he, and he told right. his wife that night that yeah. that was probably the moment. He realized. Second, the format will matter. This next debate, will, will, will the interactive with the audience, will be part of the Oprahfication of American politics, where we elect a national talk show host. And I think it's unfortunate that we do this. And Mr. Everyone will be watching to see if how, how Mr. Obama strikes a balance between catatonia and mania. That is, some will he be like Boy, and Matt Sue. will he be like uh, Joe Biden and people be saying, "Where's the Ritalin?" Okay, <laughs> Donna, last thought. Well, look, look uh, first of all, I think the the Democrats got to just stop trying to fact check the Republicans every time they open their mouth and get back to talking to the American people. Tell the country where we're going over the next four years, and if Mitt Romney want to continue to pivot to becoming a moderate or even a liberal like myself, then, you know, have that conversation four years from now. But talk to the American people. They want to hear about the future. Thank you very much to our wonderful panel. This has been a terrific discussion. And the discussion continues online today. Donna Brazil and Speaker Gingrich will answer your questions on Twitter, at Donna Brazil and at Newt Gingrich. Just use hashtag this week. Thanks also to our audience here in the museum's night studio, and thank you to our friends and partners at the Miller Center at the University of Virginia. The Miller Center is a nonpartisan institute that studies the presidency, policy, and political history and applies the lessons of history to the toughest policy challenges we face today. For more information about the work of the Miller Center, please visit millercenter.org. And that's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and tune in Tuesday for special coverage of One-on-One, -on -One, the candidates' debate beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. George Stephanopoulos, we'll see you back here next week. Thanks, one and all. Now you guys can applaud.